All right, welcome back. Let's talk about lab number four, Malware Dynamic Link Libraries Function Investigation. Lab objective is to become familiar with Dependency Walker and learn how to identify DLLs by using this tool. Our lab mission today is to practice performing malware analysis on an executable malware sample by analyzing its dependencies with Dependency Walker. You will need basic knowledge of static malware analysis using tools learned in the class. You're going to need your Windows 10 VM, your lab4.rar file, and dependency walker zipped up. All right. As usual, the password for your lab4.rar file is 1234. All right. If you do have your Windows Defender, turned on you might need to turn it off for the file you know might be identified as malware so let's go ahead and check mine see what i got here virus and threat protection you might need to turn off real-time protections in order for this lab to actually work so i've just gone on and gone ahead and disabled mine next you're going to want to extract lab for lab four so let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to put it, we're just going to call it uh, extract file. Let's say extract archive. I'm going to say one, two, three, four. All right, there's executable. Let's go ahead and make a new folder here. We're going to call it a DFIRL4. Let's put this in here. All right. Next thing we want to do is extract our dependency walker. I'm just going to extract to depends. There we go. There's our dependency walker executable right there. So we are good there. So let's go ahead and open up depends. And we're going to open up our file on our desktop here. So let's go to desktop. And we're going to go to DFIR lab four and open up our malware okay so let's see what we got errors were detected when processing see the windows log for details well i don't see any errors that lab opened up just fine on my end so let's go ahead and take a look right here so look at the lab look at the dolls labs four uses and scroll down to note which DLLs are here. So we do see a lot of DLL files here. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger here. And you can see we've got NT, DLL, and all of these other you know, DLLs right here. So we've got a lot of them, event provider, core API queries, security, NT, MARTA, Windows 32 shell, com, Windows security, some more APIs. We got more uh, DLLs here. So you do see you got a lot of different uh, DLLs here. Okay. And what we want to look at is the kernel 32. Look at that one as the main DLL file. And then we see that uh, right here. Kernel 32 is our main DLL file here. All right. So Let's go ahead and keep looking here. We want to profile this to see what, what can this DLL do? What can this lab for executable functionality do? So we're going to do that by doing the profile. So let's go ahead and we're going to click on lab4.exe. We're going to click on profile. And we're going to click on start profiling. Okay. Once we're at this screen, we want to deselect automatically open and profile child processes which is at the very bottom right here okay and then you're going to press ok and you can see it is profiling here and at the bottom you can see what's going on you see so we got some injections going on at the bottom here and our job is to identify possible malicious functions used by this lab for dot exe so what we want to take a look at 
is what's going on here. So let's take a look at some of these DLLs and see if we can't find some uh, funky behavior here. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, we see everything has been expanded here. And we're just going to take a look and see, hey, what is funky? You see, when we start to profile here, we get some other logs that are actually called up for. And let me go ahead and uh, show you what those are. So we get the WinSock, which is your network connection uh, stack here, and some other dependencies start to actually show up here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and do it again for you. I'm going to profile it, and I'm going to press OK. And you see at the bottom right here, you see these are the other DLLs that get called up here, right? When you load this one, other sub-processes are started in the background. And this stuff is actually what's injected here uh, into this DLL. So we do see that we got WS32 DLL, RPC42 DLL, and RASDAP, security host. Yes, yeah, so we see we got some X violations as it's trying to actually walk through this executable. So take a look at that, and you'll see, yeah, you know, uh, this thing is definitely calling unwanted or definitely showing DLL injection behavior. All right. And then if you scroll back up here, let me do this one more time here. I'm going to profile it, start profiling. Okay. Scroll down. To the bottom here and you see all these right here and we got a lot of stuff getting, getting pulled up here so definitely suspect here all right that is the end of lab number four i will see you on the next one